In this video, we're going to discuss how to graph piecewise defined functions, just like this uh, function here. A piecewise defined function is defined by different formulas on different parts of its domain. In general, the graph of such a function consists of separate pieces. That's why we call it a piecewise function. So if you look at this uh, first example here, we have here uh, two formulas for g. So g is constant. It's equal to 3 when x is less than negative 1 and it is a linear function. So g of x is negative 2x plus 5 when x is greater than or equal to negative 1. So to sketch the graph of this one, so first we sketch the graph of this one here. This is a constant function, so the graph is a horizontal line. So if we don't have a restriction, then we just have to draw this horizontal line here. But we need to consider the domain on which uh, that formula is defined. So the domain here is only for x less than negative 1. So we have to exclude uh, all those x values that are greater than or equal to negative 1. So in this case, we have here an open dot because x equals negative 1 is not part of our domain here for this uh, formula. So this, is, this point here is not part of the graph, okay? And uh, next, we sketch the graph of this one, linear function. So the graph of this is just a line, and it's a decreasing line because the uh, slope, which is the coefficient of x, is negative. So to uh, graph a line, all you need to plot are two points. So in this case, we plot uh, two points. Let's say when x is equal to negative 1, you replace this by negative 1, you'll get here negative 2 times negative 1, it's 2, plus 5, you'll get uh, 7. So you have this point here. And then when x is equal to 0, so you'll get a value which is equal to 5, and you'll get this point. So if you don't have this uh, restriction here, then the graph of this one is uh, this uh, entire line here. So this extends upward. But since uh, x is greater than or equal to negative 1, then that means we have to exclude this uh, part of the graph and you'll get this ray here, okay? Wherein this uh, point here is included in the graph. So this is already the graph of the function g. And we see that uh, this graph sat satisfies vertical line test. So any vertical line intersects the graph uh, at most once. Okay, and we can also, if you're asked to find the domain and range, so we can also find the domain and range of this. So the domain of this uh, function, the domain is just the set of all uh, inputs, admissible inputs. So uh, values of x that give real values for y. And as you can see from this one, we can have uh, any value of x and any value of x will give you a real value of y. That is the function value g of x. So therefore, the domain here is the set of all real numbers. We can write that down as negative infinity to infinity, or we can use this symbol to denote uh, all real numbers. And again, domain set of all x coordinates of your points here. And as you can see, uh, the x coordinates of these points can be any real number. And how about the range? So if you're asked to find the range of this function, range is just a set of resulting values of y, or just you're just looking for the y coordinates of these points on your graph. And as you can see from here, you can only have y values that are less than or equal to 7. So if you draw a horizontal line above uh, 7, then it won't intersect the graph. So there is no point that will give you a y value greater than 7. So in this case, our range is set of all real numbers less than or equal to 7. In interval notation, we can write that down as negative infinity to 7, including 7. How about if we ask to sketch the graph of this function? So here we have the same formulas as the previous function, but here are the parts of domain where these uh, formulas are defined. So in this case, it's equal to 3 when x is equal to 0. So in this case, when x is equal to 0, function value or y value is equal to 3. So you'll get this point here. And when x is not equal to 0, it's a line, same line as before, but we have to exclude only the point where x is equal to 0. So in this case, you have uh, this uh, entire line here, but you have to exclude the point where x is equal to 0. So you have here an open dot. So this is the graph of our function g. So we have here a line with a hole plus a point. So this point is included in the graph of this uh, function g. Now, if you're asked to find the domain of this function, so the domain is just a set of all real numbers again, 
So you have your negative infinity to infinity or this symbol here. And the range is all real numbers except 5. So as you can see, if you draw a horizontal line here, you won't intersect the graph. So there is no point where the y value is equal to 5. So our range in this case is set of all real numbers except so set of all real numbers except 5. You may write it this way, or if you want to write it in interval notation, then this is negative infinity to 5, excluding 5, union with 5 to infinity. Now let's move to our last uh, problem here. So if we have this function defined using uh, three formulas here, so it is constant, it's equal to 5 for these x values here. It is equal to x squared if you have these x values, and then it is 2x minus 6 for x greater than 2. So if you know how to sketch the graphs of this, so it's not hard to sketch the graph of a piecewise function. So all you need to do is sketch the graph of each equation, and then you have to just exclude some part of the graph. So in this case, uh, if we sketch first uh, this uh, constant function here, so it's a horizontal line, but we need to exclude x greater than negative 2. So we need to end only at uh, negative 2. And as you can see, it's included. So we used here a solid dot to mean that this point is included in the graph of the function. So uh, next, what is uh, the graph of this one? It's a parabola that opens up. So the vertex is at uh, x equal to 0. And you'll get here this one here, this uh, green graph. So when you sketch uh, this uh, parabola, it's very important to plot the endpoints even if uh, an endpoint is not included in the graph. So if that is the case, then just use an open dot, just like in this case. So even uh, when x is equal to negative 2 here, and if we sketch this graph up to x equals negative 2, we'll get x equals negative 2, you square that equal to 4. But as you can see in this case, we only consider x greater than negative 2, so it's not part of, a, of our parabola, then that means we need to use an open dot instead of a solid dot. But at the right endpoint, since uh, our x here can be equal to 2, then we have here a solid dot. So that's part of our graph. And uh, finally, to sketch the last piece of the graph of f, so this is just a line. Again, all we need to plot is uh, our two points, okay? And just draw a line uh, that passes uh, through those uh, two points. So you'll get here this uh, line here, again, you may consider x equals 2 here. When x is equal to 2, you'll get here 4 minus 6. So that is negative 2. But again, you use an open dot because it is not part of the domain where this formula is defined. And then when x is equal to 3, you'll get here 0. So you have here uh, x intercept when x is equal to 3. So as we can see from this, the graph of uh, f consists of uh, three pieces. So you have here a ray part of a parabola, and then another ray. And again, this graph satisfies vertical line test. It should. Why? Because this is a function. Now, if we're asked to find the domain and range of uh, this uh, function, then the domain, in this case, is a set of all real numbers again, or using this symbol. And that is uh, clear uh, on the graph of the function. So domain is set of all real numbers. So when you draw any vertical line, you'll be able to intersect the graph. OK, so there is a point that will give you that x value. How about the range? So the range here, as you can see, if we draw a horizontal line below uh, or uh, at uh, y equals uh, negative 2, we won't be able to intersect the graph. So in this case, this point is not included in the graph of f. So the only y values, resulting y values here, are real numbers that are greater than negative 2. So the range of uh, this one is a set of all real numbers greater than negative 2. So in interval notation, negative 2 to infinity.